You haven't got a letterbox. I know. That's because I never get any letters. Well, you've got one today. Oh. Have you got a chisel? I'll go and get one. Hurry up, you lazy bastard! Sorry. I was as quick as I could be. What's going on? Let's have a look. Give me the binoculars. It's all right. I can see perfectly well what's happening. Thank you very right. much. All right, you can have them. He's two doors away. Pass me a sandwich, will you? All right. it look from the inside? It's good from here. Right. OK, then. Good morning. Wait a minute. This isn't for me. It's for number 166 next door. You see? I told you I never got any letters. Yes. Yes, you're right. Sorry. There he is. What'd you do that for? Well, I'm a policeman, aren't I? Did I get him? you want? The usual things. Peace. Happiness. And you got me off the lava train to tell me this? 
I didn't get you off the lavatory. Well, somebody got me off the lavatory. Were you stuck? What? I've got a letter for you. Who broke my bloody bell? arrived yet. Ah, the sound of music. My most favourite film of all time. Ask me, it's a stupid idea. Well, then I'm not very likely to ask you, then, am I, June? And who's ever heard of a film being shown at nine o'clock on a Monday morning? Well, I have. But who's going to want to come and see it at that time in the morning, Terry? June, have you ever heard of a thing called commuters? Hmm? And have you ever heard of a thing called business enterprise? And have you ever heard of a thing called anything, June? No. No, you haven't, have you? But I have. That's what this country needs if there were more people in this country like me. If everybody in this country was me. Well, you'd have a pretty weird telephone directory, wouldn't you? T? Well, what do you think? I think it's a stupid idea. It's all right. Well, I'll have some coffee, then. My curry powder. What is the matter with you this morning, Joan? Sorry, June. It's the stupid getting up early business. I mean, what's the point? Nobody's going to come. They're all too busy doing jobs. Absolutely nobody is going to want to come and see the sound of music if you show it at nine o'clock this morning. Do you really think so? Yeah. Great. A nine o'clock showing. How enterprising. That's just the ticket for shift workers like me that finished work at 8.30. Breakfast, dear. Oh, thank you, Monica. Hello, breakfast. 
I hope you haven't double parked. No, dear. What are you going to do with yourself today, my darling? I'm going to see the nine o'clock showing of The Sound of Music. A nine o'clock showing? How enterprising. Sweetheart, I think breakfast is escaping. He's been restless all morning. I think he wants to go out. Do you want to go for a wee-wee, hmm, breakfast? It's a funny name for a lobster. Correct. This morning I found this on my front doorstep. It looks like a police bullet, Chief. I know it. Does it? This bullet was used to immobilize my front doorbell. However, I'm attaching absolutely no importance to it. It's just one of these things. Pay attention, gentlemen. This is a naked woman. I have reason to believe that a motion picture film using images such as these is in our town. This is photography. Our photography, and I will not... Pornography, Chief. Thank you, Sergeant. Smart Alec bastard. In our tongue, I want this film behind bars. I want the purveyors of this film behind bars. I want anyone who's seen this film or contemplated going to see this film behind bars. And that, gentlemen, is your job. We know, Chief. You told us all this yesterday. Did I? Oh, well, there you go, then. All right. Actually, I'm going your way, my darling, so I may as well walk with you. On second thoughts, it might be quicker the long way around. you're doing this is private property i've come to see the film oh i was wrong darling i do apologize shut up june <sighs> what film the sound of music oh it's off 
What do you mean? Uh, we lost the film. <laughs> well, what's that then? Ah, oh, there it is! We found the film, June! Didn't know we'd lost it, dear. Shut up! Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. It'll be open in just a minute and then you'll be able to buy your ticket and some cigarettes. Some chewing gum. Some smarties. It's turned out nice again, hasn't it? I've got to clean the carpet when I get home. Thank you, Jim. Right here, then. Well, if you're ready, I'll open the doors, then, shall I? OK, love. First in the queue. Yeah. So how can it be full? What do you mean, full? Look. House full. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, it's the wrong notice again. <laughs> Stupid me. <laughs> look like a cinema, all right. Hey, cinemas show films. Oh, the penny snap. Let's go! Now then, what's your game, Sonny? Well, I was just trying to save a this film. I bet you were. I bet you were, you dirty bastard. Oh, I get it. Dirty bastard, dirty film. Right. Now then, what's your name? Nigel. Not you, Nigel. You. Mr Bean. It's a funny name for a lobster. Sarge. Sarge, he's not a lobster, Sarge. I know. I'm just trying to disorientate him. Don't do that. You'll get him confused. That's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I get it. <clears throat> there, that's confused him. Now, get up. And that is just a warning. A warning about what exactly? A warning about... Tell him, Nigel. That is just a warning about what it's like to get smashed in the face, Sonny. Don't you forget it. What? This. <clears throat> ah, ah. Now then, tell us about this film. Well... It starts off with there's none. Yes, yes, yes. We know it's dirty, but where is it? I don't know. Don't mess us about. Ah, put me down. Ah. 
Oh, no. Another suicide. You must be more careful, Nigel. Let's stick him down that manhole. on the roof. Well, the film's all fixed and ready to roll, June. What a pity I inadvertently gave Felix the projectionist the day off today. I'll have to show it myself. Have, uh, you been to the toilet recently, June? Yes, dear. Oh. Why, why? Was this a friendly interest? Nine o'clock. I'd better show the film. But, Terry, um, no one's bought a ticket. There's nobody yes. to show it to. Yes, yes, I know that, June. But I thought I'd better just check it, you know. Uh, you know, you better stay in here and not go out at all in case of late arrivals, see? And seeing as how it's a special day today, June, you can eat as many sweets as you want. You're right, Sarge. We'll have to use the ladder. Okay. Then you go first. Uh, one for the stalls, please. What have you got? Got half a Mars bar somewhere. Um. I don't think I'll bother, thank you. Is uh, is that the way out? Yes, I suppose so. It's locked.
a dirty movie, all right. He's digging his own nest. Right then. Shall we go down and nab him, Sergeant? No, no. Let's let him see the whole film through, then the sentence will be more severe. Good idea. My turn first. Right, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Things, um, uh, leaves and uh, 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 notices, um, and uh, oh, look, look, some nuns. Uh, we're 16 going on, on, uh, on six. Hello, miss, I'm an orphan. Uh, would you like to enter me for a, a singing competition? Uh, yes, I would, miss. Uh, Thank you very much. I've... Santa Monica! Just a ticket! Scuba Dover! Catches. Look! I have told you before, I am not a lobster! Oh my god. Dawn, what have you done? I just didn't see you it. You mean you didn't look? Well, how was I supposed to know? I mean, I just wasn't thinking. Well, perhaps you should have thought about it. Dawn, that's a piece of life you've raped there with this invalid car. Stupid, stupid cow! Look, it's not my fault, right? It's not her fault, Jennifer. It's the film industry's fault. The blame for this lies fairly and squarely on the shoulders of the British film industry. I don't like that ending. It's the only one we've got. I know, I know. I just don't like it. And what are we going to do, then? Well, you're the director. Yeah, but you and Rick are the writers. Yeah, yeah, but 
You get paid more than me. Do I? Well, let's just leave it obscure. <laughs> <laughs>